Welcome, and from is a Motorola Moto Z3 Play, and today I'll show you how to go through the setup process of the device. So when you first get the device and you put it up, you'll be presented with this screen. So choose the language that you wish by just stopping right here and selecting it from the list. I'm gonna stick with English. And once you select the real language, tap on start, where you will get the uh, SIM page so you can insert your sim card now this process is completely optional you can insert it now in the next step or complete it in the next day or lifetime and it literally won't matter one bit the moment you put in the sim card it will just work normally so i'm just gonna skip it then have wi-fi connection uh, you can also skip this if you don't have a wi-fi around or you can connect to one uh, it will allow you to later on uh, throughout the setup process uh, basically connect to your google account and also it's used if the device is uh, locked with a, for instance, previous owner uh, forgetting to log out of his Google account and resetting the device, uh, you will need to connect and then verify that account. Um, but yeah, so let's just choose network right here. Then you have the copy apps and data, and uh, that's assuming you have a backup of your old device somewhere. Um, so you could go to next and just follow these provided steps. Uh, I'm gonna choose to don't do that right now, so don't copy and set it up as new. And then there's the Google sign in page, like I said. Now you can log into it if you have an account, if you don't, you can create one right here. Or you can just skip it all together if you don't feel like logging in right now. I have the Google services so you can read what they exactly do. Um, and then enable or disable them accordingly if you want it or not. And up on accept at the bottom. And on the next page you have un unlock with your fingerprint. Uh, so you can use the fingerprint sensor right here to unlock the device. Um, Keep in mind that if you choose to have a fingerprint, you will also need to have another way of unlocking the device. So you have a choice between a pin, pattern, or a password. So you have right here, by default, it goes to a four digit pin, but you can choose a different one. So there is pattern, pin, password. I'm gonna go with pattern. So draw the pattern, redraw the same pattern, confirm it. And now I get to scan my finger. So I'm gonna use my index finger, but I'll probably advise on the device to scan your thumb because the way you hold the device probably will be more natural for, to just tap that. Um, but because it's on a stand, uh, I'll have to do it like this. So you want to get a good read of your entire finger. So however you press it, it will be recognized. And after setup, if you still have problems with it, unlocking the device, you might want to go back to the settings and add another one. Um, right now you won't really know if it's working well or not. As you can see, you don't really have a way of testing it, so let's just have them done. But later on you can just go to the settings and security and there you'll find fingerprint. Um, review additional apps. Okay, cool. And then accept and continue for the Motorola services. Um, probably have to agree to this one subscribe there we go uh, so we have some kind of preview here okay continue I right, just keep it however it is so as you can see that's basically the setup and also if we like the device you can unlock it with your finger there we go. So if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.